For this craft, you just need a pair of scissors, a fork, and a ball of wool. Hi, I'm going to be making um, really simple and little um, pom-poms. We're going to be using them for an Easter craft as a bunny's tail. All you'll need is three things, a fork, wool, and some scissors. So your first step is to take the wool and just put the end on the fork. It doesn't need to be wrapped around or anything. Then you wrap your wool around the fork. You must be careful to leave um, space at the bottom and at the top so that you can tie it at the end. If you want a nice firm bunny tail, then it's advisable to go over your wool, wrapping it around and around a number of times in the same spot. Okay, so once you've got it the thickness you want, you um, take the end of your wool, uh -oh. take the end of the wool and cut it. You don't need to tie it on, you just need to keep hold, keep holding it there. And you take a piece of your wool, like that, cut a piece, and stick that piece through the middle hole of your fork, like that. I found out today that those spikes are called tines, tines on a fork. Who knew? Mm, this is her baby brother. Mm. He's just made one of his own, haven't you? Mm -hmm. So, once you've got it tied around there, you won't have to hold the end anymore because it's tied like that. Well, looped. Then what you do is you take the back and you tie as tight as a knot as you can, otherwise your whole pom-pom will come apart. <laughs> like that. If you want to, you can do even that twice. So loop it around again. Okay, once you're happy with the knot you've tied, you take that and take it off of your fork. Then you take your scissors and you get it through the loops. If you can't get it all the way, you just cut it um, a few at a time, like that. And make sure you don't cut the knot you've just tied. But that if you've tied it tight enough, you won't do that because it's below all of them. And you keep cutting until all of your loops are gone. It does look very messy and untidy. But once you've done that, and it's like this. You cut off the end, the long threads, and you give it a haircut so that it's more neat like this one. If you don't want it to be so um, solid, then you can leave it like this, but I want to give it a bit of a haircut. <laughs> Thank you.
Is this easy, Logs? Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Why? Because it's fun. And it's, does it take a long time? No. It takes you very quick. Just to make a little pom pom, it takes you like four minutes. Is it cool? This is our final product um, of the pom pom bunnies. Easter bunnies! Yeah. Easter bunnies! In the garden <laughs> to decorate it or maybe decorate oh. it. So they're going to be clues for where the Easter eggs are. Maybe, yeah. maybe not. You have endless possibilities with your bunnies. Well done, Molly. I was about to say that. Being in lockdown meant that we had to use paper that we could find lying around the house. So we used this wrapping paper. We look forward to doing this again with papers with colorful designs that we really like. Happy Easter.